In this video, we're going to take a look at the measures of central tendency. It's going to be a real quick video, just going over the mean, which is the average, the median, which is the middle number. And in order to get that, you have to have your data set in order from smallest to largest, the mode, the number that occurs the most, and then the range, which is taking the largest number minus the smallest number in the list. All right, so just basic measures of central tendency for that uh, middle school student or that beginning algebra one student. All right, here in our first example, we're gonna be finding the mean. All right, let's say that we are given a list of numbers. All right, so to be able to find the mean or the average, all you have to do is add up the numbers. So I'm gonna add them up in the order that they occur. So 10 plus 14 plus the 21 plus the nine plus 24 plus 11 plus 19. All right, and then divide by the number of numbers that are in the list. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers in the list. All right, so at this point, you're probably going to grab calculator. You're going to add across the top. We're going to have 108 when using a calculator to add those up. And then we are going to divide by seven. All right, this is not going to come out even because we're dividing by seven. So you're going to have to round to a number. You'll round whatever your book says or whatever the math Excel problem says. So we're gonna round this one out two places. So we'll get about a 15.43. All right, but finding the mean here or another word would be average. So if it says find the mean or find the average, you add them up and divide by how many you have. All right, as the second example here, we're gonna find the median. The median is the middle number but it's the middle number when the list is in order from least to greatest. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to order from least to greatest. So I'm going to take that list and I'm going to write my 9 first because that's the smallest number. Then I'm going to write the 10 and then the 11 and then the 14. The 19, the 21 is in the list two times, so we are going to include that twice, and then 24. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start crossing off numbers from each end in an equal manner. So the 24 crossed off with the 9. All right, now I'm going to cross off the 21 with the 10. I'm going to alternate in this fashion. So the 21 with the 11. All right, now what's going to happen? You're either going to get down to exactly one number in the middle, which that would be your median. Or in this case, we have two numbers now left in the middle. So then basically I have to average those or add them up and divide by two. So I'm going to take the 14 plus the 19 and then divide by two. And that's going to come out to be a 16.5. All right, so your median number, it's when you start crossing them off, there is either going to be exactly one number left in the middle when you are done, in which case that's your median, or you'll cross them off and end up with two numbers there in the middle. All you have to do is average those, add them up, divide by two. All right, now for our next example is the mode. This is the number that occurs the most. So basically, you just have to go through the list and see which one occurs the most. All right, I have a 10 and a 10, so there's two 10s. All right, looking at the list, I also have a 21 and a 21. So both of those numbers occur two times. You are allowed to have more than one number for the mode, all right, in which case on this one, our modes, we would have more than one, would be 10 and 21. All right, so that is allowed. All right, and then for our last example here, we are looking at the range. So for the range, you just need to take the largest number in the list minus the smallest number in the list. The 24 is the biggest number in the list. The eight is the smallest number in the list. So it's a matter of just going 24 minus eight, and that's gonna give you a 16. So our range is 16. All right, so there you have three or four, actually, measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, the mode, and the range. 
All right, very simple uh, calculations that can be done by hand and can also be done with the calculator. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.